Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to get more views on your Facebook live stream using thumbnails on Facebook. It's a good episode today, so stay tuned. Oh, and video! Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm Owen Video, and hey, on this channel, you're gonna learn live video and other marketing strategies that will help you to grow your business. Good stuff on this channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Okay, today we're talking about thumbnails on Facebook, and a lot of Facebook live streamers don't even know that you can add custom thumbnails to your live stream videos on Facebook and actually adding thumbnails is going to help you to get more clicks and get more attention in the newsfeed because your thumbnails show up in a lot more places than you might think. So let's take a look at a few things to keep in mind as you're making thumbnails for your live stream show. First of all, let's take a look at where you can access and edit your thumbnails from your Facebook page. So this is my Facebook page right here and I'm going to click over to videos and to the videos tab and notice that I've got, you know, a featured video up here. I've got some playlists down here, and then I have all my videos down here. I made a video on how to make these playlists, and you can check that out up here. But I want you to take a look at these playlists that I have set up here. Notice how this one's missing a thumbnail, and we're gonna add it. Notice how I've got a neat looking thumbnail professionally branded for each episode of the live stream show that we do. And so when you click on the thumbnail, the video will pop up and the video starts. So uh, the thumbnails here, this is kind of what they look like. Now, how do you edit them? How do you add a thumbnail? Okay, so for example, this video here doesn't have a thumbnail. This is for the AMA that we did in December. I wanna add a thumbnail to this. So I'm not gonna come to the playlist. I'm gonna instead come down to where it says all videos. Okay, because up here I can only edit the playlist, but down here I can edit the individual videos. I'm gonna find the video that I wanna add the thumbnail to and I'll click on it. I'll click up here to the, at the three dots on the side and click edit video. And that's when this window here pops up and I can actually edit my posting copy here. I can set it up for captions, which actually might be a good idea. And then I can do some other things here. But over here, I'm gonna click on the custom. See how it says 27 out of 78? These are the different thumbnails that Facebook automatically gives me to select from. And they give me 78 different options, which is pretty darn cool. But you know, for the most part, I can't control these options. I don't even know how they're giving me 78 options, to be honest with you. That seems like a bit much, <laughs> you know? So let's look at the custom area. I'm going to hit on the custom tab, and that's going to pull up a box where I can select the thumbnail that I want to add, and I keep all my thumbnails in a folder, and this now becomes the thumbnail that I want to add. So I'll click save, all right? And then I'm going to click back, and then you'll want to refresh the screen. And then booyah, bada bing, your thumbnail is added. Using a branded thumbnail is going to help your show to present a lot more professionally in your videos tab, and you can use your marketing now to drive people to your videos tab where they can see your playlists and all of this set up so neatly. What? your video section is not gonna be the only section where the thumbnails show. In fact, your thumbnails will appear in a few more areas. For example, on the Facebook newsfeed, whether it's on mobile or desktop, you'll see thumbnails appear before a video plays. Look at this video here at the bottom with Leland Best, okay? It started by showing a thumbnail and then quickly changed to auto play the video. So you don't, look at there's a thumbnail down here, and then as soon as we scroll, it auto plays the video. But look at what else appears on the side. So when somebody is watching a video on Facebook, and I know this is adorable, look at these videos that appear on the right hand side. Each of these is a thumbnail and none of these producers are using custom thumbnails. So imagine what it would look like to have your branded thumbnails appear right there. So keep that in mind. Another place that your thumbnails will appear on Facebook is in the videos tab on your mobile feed. You can see the thumbnails popping up below the video that's playing currently and it does matter. We've seen a huge increase in click-through rate based on having a better thumbnail. Also, if you're running ads on Facebook, then you're probably gonna have your video thumbnails appear in the lower right-hand column of the Facebook newsfeed on desktop. So your thumbnails on Facebook certainly show up in a few areas. You're gonna wanna make sure then that you use thumbnails that look fantastic. Don't just settle for a screenshot, bro. Make a branded thumbnails that show a human's face. Use some eyeballs, use bright colors to really capture the viewer's attention, get them to stop on your video and watch your live stream to increase your views and you'll get 
more growth from that. Hey, I've got another video right here on how to set up your playlist and your featured video on Facebook. Great strategy, again, for presenting your live show. And I've got a playlist here with how to get started with Facebook ads if you want to check some of that stuff out. Thanks so much for watching. It's Owen Video, and I'll talk to you in the comments.